I just heard that. Um, so I said, while I'm driving, excuse me, I was like, what, what a crazy view. Um, the Lord spoke with me today, this morning, and he was saying the reason why a lot of things aren't happening in a lot of our lives is because we're not praying. <laughs> and um, there's these images that go through my mind all the time that I wonder how a lot of people see God. Like he's just this poof mist that you can just talk to, you know, and you can, you know, talk crazy to it. And then sometimes I feel like people feel like God is like just so kind, like, yes, son, that's all right, son. You know, he is like that, but they do it like all the way until like the end of death when they die and they feel like when they wake up. God is just going to be like, okay, wow, what happened to your life? And like, you know, you, you feel like you'll have a, a chance to explain like, well, so-and-so made me upset. That's why I slapped her, you know? And then God will just be like, you'll be like, hey, can you forgive me? And you, and he'll be like, yeah. And then he'll let you into heaven. And then like, sometimes I feel like people see God like, God is your buddy. He's your buddy, buddy. And like, he talks to you, gets you through things, and once you start noticing that he gets you through everything in life, it's like having a friend who works at Jack in the Box, you got the VIP status. And like, God is just gonna get you in, right? Hey, well, you know me, you know? Let me walk up on in there, you know? You know me. Now, this is how God is, especially when it comes to me and my relationship with God. Father God, I love you. I worship you. I glorify your name, this and that. Okay, the day goes. Let's just say a week go by. I go to sleep. I have a, this disturbing dream. Because I'm all holy. I'm right. So I'm reading my word, right? All of a sudden, I get this dream that I'm fornicating. And I wake straight up and I go, God, what's going on? I thought we was good. And he's just like... I'm showing you your future in about a few years. I'm like, what? <clears throat> You're not loving to let me like surpass this or not go on a certain job or whatever, whatever, you know. The Lord God rebukes that in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus and cut it out. <clears throat> and so God listens, right? But then when the season comes, I'm like, nah, God, I wouldn't do that. Now nah, I wouldn't do you like that. I've been worshiping you. I've been celibate for two years now. Nah, I wouldn't do you like that. So God, why would you show that? that? That's definitely got to be of the devil. And then it comes to pass. And then when I least expect it, can I blame God? No, because he knows me. And he's gonna, he's gonna say, he's gonna show you exactly who you are. <coughs> and so, I became fearful of God, right? When God started showing me my life and I thought that I was smarter than God. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so I'm worshiping God. I'm talking to God. Just like when I told you guys, God came to me and he just spoke it. You're going to have a C-section. <clears throat> and I'm just like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't have my son was uh, upside down the wrong way. We're going to pray. You know, that this baby gets turned around too and God's just, just like, that's not what I said. I'm telling you what I'm seeing. It takes a lot to have a relationship with God through the ups, the downs. It takes a lot to listen to God and to just worship and to listen to what he's saying. And the best thing that you can do, and, 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 and how many know how hard that is for a lot of y'all, to stand still. For whatever he shows you, you're just going to stand still. You're not going to do nothing. You're not going to ever be enticed. You're not going to ever go to nothing or ever be tempted. There was a lot of seasons where I did that. And let me tell you what happened. <clears throat> the devil started sending people who were willing to marry me, but they still wasn't of God. The devil sits back and he observes your life. And I don't know 
from any of you, but I get uncomfortable when I hear something like that. Because I'm like, wait a minute, who's watching me? I, I don't want nobody watching me. What's the moral of this video? God says we need to pray. A lot of things aren't happening because you're not praying. So Father God, I speak into my today. I speak into my future. I speak into my tomorrow. And I prophesy and decree and declare that I will be the best worshiper I can be. Lord God, if you see any type of demonic spirits or any type of bumps in the road or failures that could cause me to be taken away from your presence, Lord God, bless me and equip me with the prayers and the strategies. And Lord God, if I fall, protect me. And in my name, my Lord God, our Savior, Christ Jesus. Lord God, your hand be upon my children. Uh, I pray for my limbs and my body and my lips and my hair that I, I will keep my limbs. That I will keep my skin. That nothing will be burnt up. I won't lose any legs or, or fingers, Lord God. Protect my health. That it will always be in, in, in perfect peace and in a perfect state. 100%. Lord God, when I'm on the road, bless everybody around me, Lord God, so they won't run into me and run into uh, me and have car wrecks. Bless my children while they're at school. Keep your hand upon them in the, the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ to be upon them. Lord God, bless me to never leave your side. Keep me close to you. And Lord God, if I should ever forget to pray when I go to bed, speak your blessing and your protection over me so that I will always be protected. <laughs> Lord God, I want you to be in my future. I want you to be in my past, Lord God. Help me to clean up my past and love my enemies, Lord God. In the mighty name of our Lord God and Savior Christ Jesus, Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, I thank you. And for what I, for what I can't see, <clears throat> I dedicate every demon unto you and, and Satan himself. Lord God, where he hides, Lord God, in my finances, where he hides in places of my body. The Lord God command every infirmity and every imbalance placed in my body to line up to the word of God. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ and I dedicate every organ unto you in the mighty name of our Lord God and Savior Christ Jesus. Lord God, I want to thank you, Lord God, for breaking all hoodoo, spells, and everything that will come against me of all word curses, Lord God. The curse is reversed in the mighty name of our Lord God and Savior Christ Jesus. Lord God, intercess unto the Father, Lord God, for the things that I cannot understand. Lord God, I feel like I don't have the Holy Spirit right now, so Lord God, I ask that you will intercess unto the Father until I'm able to receive the Holy Spirit. Father God, I feel like I lack wisdom. Hallelujah. Lord God, I ask for wisdom on today. And Lord God, I ask for the spirit of discernment. Lord God, I want to go on a fast, Lord God. But I feel like I don't have the strength. Lord God, I feel like I'm fat. Lord God, and I want to lose weight. So I prophesy and decree and declare and say, let there be weight loss. Lord God, I speak into my body and I say, lose weight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Stop eating the wrong thing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, I ask that you would give me the strength to go on a fast. Lord God, so that I can hear you clearer, so I can be obedient, Lord God. Give me the strength and the taste and the desire to read the word of God. Hallelujah. Lord God, equip my mind and, 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 and instill and download on the inside of me the mysteries and the secrets to the kingdom. Hallelujah. Lord God, and fill me with your presence inside of my being. Lord God, fill my house. And if there's anything in my house that doesn't belong, hallelujah. Lord God, bless my eyes to be open that I may not be blind anymore so that I can see what it is so I can take it out. Lord God, if there's any idols, 